Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another iOS 16 tutorial and feature demonstration. And in this one, I want to spend a few minutes talking about notifications. Yeah, I know we've been talking about notifications a bit with focus and the lock screen, but there is another change to notifications that does not have the biggest impact on voiceover users but I did feel it was worth covering. And that is that notifications have a new look in iOS 16 by default. Notifications come up from the bottom of the lock screen and are kind of in a stack. At least that's how it's described. And for me, I can kind of see visually that's how it looks. Now, the reason for that is so that you're able to see your lock screen with your wallpaper and your widgets. Now, it works quite well with voiceover. However, it is possible to get more of a traditional view for notifications. So in this quick video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. At the moment for a voice, I am using Eloquence Read from QS, US English. So. That's what you're hearing now. I still can't believe we have this voice in iOS 16. All right, let's go ahead and open up settings. Settings, double tap to open. Settings. Okay, settings is loaded and we want to go to notifications. So I'll do a bit of explore by touch here. Airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, personal lock spot, notifications, button. Okay, there's notifications, I'll double tap. Display as, edit. And right away, we have display as, and we have three options for this. Count, button, count, display as, heading. We can have it display count, as a count, button, stack, button, a stack, selected, list. or a list. Now, the list option, as I already have selected, is very much like how notifications behaved in iOS 15 and earlier. And that is the option I do prefer. So if that's what you'd like, if you like it to be as standard as possible, then I would go with the list option. Stack button. Now stack works quite well, and it's really not that bad. Actually, I haven't noticed a huge difference with voiceover, but for me, having a bit of vision, I find the list, list. a bit easier to take in all the notifications that have come in. Now the third option Back though up. is count, and I do not recommend this if you're a voiceover user. I have found that it loses focus a bit and it's a bit harder to get to your notifications. Visually, that is the least amount of clutter because all that's on the screen if you have notifications is an area at the bottom of the screen that says number new notifications. So, for example, if you have three, it would say three new notifications. But that's it. You don't see them on your lock screen unless you click on that. So, for voiceover, at least as of 16.0, my recommendation is that you use either the list or stack option. And, stack. Selected. List. again, the list is most similar to what you are very likely familiar with from iOS 15 and below. Okay, so that was a quick video talking about notifications. I know probably not the most interesting in the series, but I did feel it was important that I cover it. So if the look of notifications is important to you or you find that things aren't working quite well with voiceover, going into settings, notifications and the display options right there at the top will allow you to customize it. Okay, so that's it for this video. Stay tuned. More videos are on the way. So again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon.